right, you can see she is officially in labor now. We've got goo, you can tell she's contracting. See her eyes kind of get big. And... Wow, she is already working hard. This progresses super quickly. Wow, this is going fast. Doing a good job, Mama. You're doing a good job. Georgia, Georgia, come here. I'm over by the hay. Come here really quickly and quietly. Look, Georgia. Come here. You see? You see the little baby's feet? Where's Daddy? Is he coming? Get it out the rest of the way. Ah, it's so adorable. Mm -hmm. Good girl, CC. Blood. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 
There it comes. Yay. No. <laughs> You've seen sheep get no, born. two days post calving and so far so good. Cecilia took um, right to Pepper. There was an instance where as soon as Pepper came out she saw her. She turned around and she saw her and she just started making this horrendous bellow noise. She started stamping and kind of like lunging almost but I think it was just because she was scared. It only lasted about seven seconds and of course I shouted at Stu, get in there she's gonna kill her. Literally thinking she was just gonna cream Pepper but um, it just lasted a few seconds and then she just started licking her off. She ate her placenta and she's doing a great job. Pepper's been up nursing. So now we're kind of really watching closely for any signs of milk fever. So we're checking her nose, we're checking her poop, we're making sure that she's urinating, that she's eating, that she's drinking. We're keeping an eye on her teeth. We don't want any sort of issues with mastitis. So this is really a red zone time on the farm after calving like this. There's a lot to watch for with dairy cows. So much can go wrong so quickly. So I'm spending a lot of time up at the barn right now with Cecilia and Pepper, but they seem to be doing awesome. We've given them, we'll basically give Pepper 24 hour access to Cecilia for at least the first week. And we're gonna start milking tomorrow morning. She probably still has quite a bit of colostrum in there, so we probably won't keep that milk. But just to get her in the routine, we will start milking in the morning. Then after that 24 hour access period, what we'll do is we'll start separating Cecilia and Pepper at night. So she can have full access during the day to as much milk as she wants. We'll separate them at night. We'll milk first thing in the morning, take our share, and then they get to be together all day. So hopefully all goes well. We'll keep you posted. <laughs>